Hello, it's a rather gusty Monday the 15th. I'm FX Pro and this is the Market Brief. So Ben Bernanke's been on. The former Fed president has completed his review um, at the Bank of England of their inflation forecasting models. Apparently, Bernanke made 12 recommendations uh, for upgrades in what Bailey has called a once in a generation uh, opportunity to upgrade their forecasting models. The intent is to make sure it's all fit for purpose going forwards and give themselves the best chances uh, of accurate measures. Um, and they will be tested going forwards. On one hand, we're probably out of the recession already. GDP for February showed 0.1% growth and January was revised up to 0.3%. But then on the other hand, we've got the escalations in the Middle East as Iran has entered the chat. And of course, we've got the stickier end of the inflation curve to deal with. The MPC is still expected to cut rates in June, um, but they will want to see more progress with inflation between now and then. Uh, in terms of drivers this week, we've got inf uh, employment data due out tomorrow. We've got inflation due on Wednesday, and then retail sales is out on Friday. So plenty to keep us entertained. Um, over in the US, where inflation rose in March, it has helped the market accept the more hawkish suggestions from Fed members that a rate cut may not happen this year. As such, we've seen increased volatility um, as the Fed is still driven by the data and the data sh still shows significant price pressure remaining in the economy. Of course, Middle East escalations may hasten a rate cut. That will be a key focus for the Fed after nine countries were involved uh, at the weekend after missiles were fired from Iran, Iraq, Syria uh, and Yemen. And that triggered countermeasures from Israel, the US, the UK, France and Jordan, all trying to prevent shots reaching Israeli territory. Biden remains committed in his ironclad support for Israel, but will not uh, take part in any retaliatory strikes uh, on Iran. So we can probably expect a little more volatility coming into the market. Uh, sterling dropped against the dollar last week. That was driven by interest rate differentials, where the MPC is still expected to cut rates in June, while the Fed may not cut this year. We dropped to 124.25 against the dollar, and the dollar index peaked around 106.10, which was the highest we've seen since the first week of November. We held up better against the euro because the ECB is also still on for a June rate cut. So any suggestion from the MPC that we may extend the pause, that may see sterling drive higher than 117. But for now, we kick off the new week from around 124.65 against the dollar, 117.05 against the euro, uh, and euro dollar is around 106.50 on the open this morning. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.